Hi Alex. I'm wearing my mittens this time, so I'm smart because it's cold out. I wanted to take another walk with you, this time in the beautiful Regent's Park. Take a look. Take a look. Take a look. Oh my god, that's great. Yeah, I had started another video, but uh, I already told you most of the things that it was in that video, so that footage is now kind of pointless. Oh, look, 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 look. Bam. Oh, and this. Take a look at this gardening. Take a look. Da -na -na. Da -na -na. Ah, absolutely stunning. Anyway, I hope you're doing well. It feels weird to think that you're just starting classes right now and the sun's almost setting here. That's a little weird. But, on to journaly things. I have not yet started my Connecting Across Cultures activity. But, I have an unofficial one. I'm a Unitarian Universalist and I attended the uh, UU Church last Sunday, which I told you about. Ew. Man, the pub that we went to, uh, just it took two hours to have just a quick lunch. Utterly ridiculous, regardless. So if I go to that every Sunday though, that would probably count. And it would be me integrating into British culture. So here in Britain, they're just Unitarians as opposed to Unitarian Universalists like it is in the States because they didn't have the same kind of uh, structural sort of joining as we did in the States. Uh, ooh, look over there. Nice. So that'll be fun if I go to it every week, the Unitarian thing. And actually, I don't know if I told you this. No, I don't think I did. When I went to the service, I ran across or I ran into, rather, not across, that'd be, that'd be a shame if I ran across this guy for, who was from, uh, from our church, originally, back in the States. We just, he was, he was in London on a, on a business, he was only there for a week, and we just happened to go to the service on the same, on the same day. It was crazy, it was awesome. That was cool. Crows! and kids playing football, the kind that you actually play with your feet, that Americans call soccer. Speaking of, that's what I would like to like point out for this journal that I sort of have been really enjoying, is this kind of bluntness that people here in uh, Britain seem to have of just saying, calling things what they are. I have a couple of examples. Toilets. Way out. Treats. I really like that. About this way. <laughs> uh, it makes me, it makes me laugh. I don't know why. It, it just, it just sort of feels, I don't know, it's a place that makes sense. I feel like sometimes my uh, American counterparts uh, get frustrated at the differences um, in language, even though, in my in my opinion, the British alternatives are more clear, more direct, if you will. Oh, hey, Canada geese, and some other kind of duck, which looks cool. Oh, look at it. It's a monster. You know, it makes sense that, you know, here, where English sort of started, English is used very directly. Back in the States, where English evolved and gained more words, and more synonyms. I think it's true for other English-speaking places as well, like uh, Australia has more things that um, feel like an inside joke or out of context and not blunt. And uh, Newfoundland, I saw a video where they, their slang just doesn't make sense. I have a gate behind me now. Alright, I think that's it. Um, say hello to your folks for me. 
uh, hope you have a nice day, and I hope you sleep well. So I'm going to end this video with uh, Babbling Brook.